Sean, the RC mechanic, two questions for you. Ah, you're double dipping, you cheater. Who gets a starting job in Atlanta, Ritter or Mariota? I think Ritter or Mariota starts week one. Ritter starting by week 18. And should the Falcons acquire Julio and Debo? Uh, you're sure if you want. I doubt you give up. You should not give up the draft capital to get Debo Samuel because you might be bad next year. So I'm not going to go get Debo because I need my first round pick. Julio Jones? Sure. Why not? If, as long as that bridge has not been burned. From Case Keenum, who will sign to Devion Clowney? I'm going to guess the Browns are the one that bring him back, given all the links to, to as a reunion there. And Edge is still an area of need for the Cleveland Browns. If it's not Cleveland, some other teams you could always keep an eye out for, right? How about the Miami Dolphins? They have tried to get Clowney for a long time. Maybe this is the year. I, I, somehow, doubt it. I somehow doubt it. From that standpoint, the Baltimore Ravens, they tried to get to Darius Smith. They missed. They did draft David Ajabo in round two, but he's not going to play this year, I don't think. So there's your short-term answer. The Rams got to play or replace Vaughn Miller. If he wants, if Klein wants to go ring chasing, LA is a pretty great spot for it. The Atlanta Falcons, I, I would be a bit surprised, but from a need perspective, I mean, Clowney's better than, than Lorenzo Carter. Having Carter as edge three with Ebicady as edge two and Clowney as edge one is a lot better than what they had last year. And I'll just mention the Philadelphia Eagles. They love to get aggressive if they can. More of a dark horse contender from that standpoint. But Philadelphia could be fun in, in or for Clowney, given how much they like to add sometimes veteran options. Those are my guesses. I want to hear from you now. Where do you think Clowney will play in 2022? This question is the pinned comment on today's video. So if the ad break comes here on YouTube, Take advantage of it. Head down there and let me know. Greenback, 25. I heard Andy Isabella and Nikhil Harry on the trade block. Who could get them? Literally anyone that wants them. Those two players, uh, Arizona State and then UMass, and of course, now with the Patriots and the Cardinals, have not been good football players. They have been busts at this stage. So teams that need a receiver at some level, the Falcons, the Ravens, the Titans, the Vikings, the Packers, yes, still Green Bay, as far as I'm concerned. They could offer a conditional seventh-round pick, and I think the Cardinals and Patriots say, yes, let's do it, and they accept that trade then and there. They might just end up getting cut, by the way. I want you to now name a player who you want to trade for. Could be any player, any team. Try to keep it somewhat realistic. Let me know in the comments. From all my friends, draft is over. Where does Baker Mayfield end up? <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Uh, as the draft went on, or pre-draft, I should say, five teams have been the most linked. Houston as a sleeper. Pittsburgh, if he were cut. Carolina, Seattle as trade partners. And the Falcons maybe a sleeper too. But Pittsburgh took Kenny Pickett. Crossed them off the list. Falcons added Desmond Ritter, crossed them off it. Carolina took Matt Corral, but they had trade talks, so I'm not going to totally rule out Carolina. I think Seattle in the end is where he ends up, but that's just the guess on a gut feeling. He could, I, don't, I don't have a great feel in the end. What do you think? Curious what you guys have to say. Where will Baker Mayfield play in 2022? Make your predictions for me in the comments section. Robbie Grusik or Gruski, I'm getting that wrong. I'm sorry, Robbie. I know you Got it right before. Uh, who do you think will be Rookie of the Year? I think Drake London was the betting favorite, um, at least after round one. I I could see Brees Hall getting a pretty good workload. Uh, if Rashad Penny gets his uh, ne inevitable hamstring issue, I think Kenneth Walker could be a good fit there. And maybe the Saints give Chris Olave quite a bit of work. Uh, might be the route I pursue on that front. But I think L London was the early betting favorite. From James Heiner, what do you think will be the most intriguing quarterback battles once camp starts? Great questions. Uh, question, I should say. Um, Steelers jumps out with Mitchell Trubisky against Kenny Pickett. Uh, beyond that, things are mostly settled. The Falcons, Desmond Ritter, Marcus Mariota, another good one. Whatever happens in Carolina feels like one. I, they, I, they can't enter the year with just Donald and Ritter, right? They got to add... Or, Darnold and, and Corral. They got to add somebody else in there. Uh, the Niners, if they keep Jimmy G, I guess that could be a competition. And whatever's going to happen in Seattle, Drew Locke, Geno Smith, and I hope a third QB also makes sense. Cameron Christie, or maybe 12 more years for Brady, given his ageless wonderness. 
when do you see Desmond Ritter starting? Um, it's a good question. Uh, I think that Ritter's going to take over at some point in year one. I don't think he needs that much like growth from like a a a like developmental standpoint. I know he's a smaller school player, so he's going to kind of get adjusted to that standpoint. But I think it's pretty good pre-snap processing. Falcons are probably going to be bad if we're being honest. And if you're a bad team, throw your rookie QB out there, see what he can do. So you got a feel of okay, is this a Davis Mills situation where we give him a chance, or are we just going to take a top five QB and, and let Desmond be our long-term backup? From Jim Panson, 84, which day three pick do you think could have an immediate pick? So there, there are going to be a lot of guys on day three that step up and play a big-time role early. Uh, I think the first three picks of day three, right? Uh, Kate Otten uh, to the Bucks, Damian Pierce to the Texans, Perrion Winfrey, all those guys could step up sooner rather than later. Uh, looking through my list here as well, I like Neil Farrell a lot. The Charlie Kohler picked I like. Technically, your kickers and punters can make a big impact, but I hate that. Calvin Austin to the Steelers. I really like that pickup in the fourth round as well. We mentioned Tyler Algier of the Falcons earlier in today's live show. He's a good fit as an early impact type of player. Those skill position players also often make their impact felt kind of quickly. Uh, I thought Jamari Salyer to the Chargers was a steal later on in the draft. That's another one if, in terms of offensive line play who could make a nice impact for you. For live shows, NFL news, rumors, and more, all season and off-season long, you've come to the right spot. Hit that big red button and subscribe at youtube.com slash chatsportstv. Will Ritter be the best win in the draft? I don't know if you mean best steal, biggest, best QB, whatever. I think Ritter has untapped talent. I think he's a good player. There's some processing stuff I, I really enjoy. I was higher on Ritter than he ended up going, although... I guess I was too nice this year's QB class. Either way, he I think his fit in Atlanta is good. I think he can beat out Mariota sooner than later, but you have to be patient, especially with a young QB in the third round. That is not full-fledged investment beyond minimum and he can be your backup QB. Full-fledged starter, franchise guy, and we'll wait and see on that one. From Oh My Lord, who will be the first quarterback drafted next? I assume you mean year. It is way too early. And we will do some uh, some way too early mock drafts. It would be an early two-team race, I think. Two-player race. Bryce Young, the Alabama quarterback, and C.J. Stroud, the Ohio State QB. Hey, maybe Spencer Rattler actually is decent under pressure next year, but it, it, these are the early favorites in what appears to be a better class than what we had this year. I say appears to be because there's an entire year of college football to be played. Changes happen. It's not by any means a locked and loaded thing. Who do you think goes first of these two? B.Y. for Bryce Young or C.J. for C.J. Stroud? From Pablo, who had the best draft? Uh, the ones that I liked the most, the Baltimore Ravens, I thought crushed it this year. I thought Philadelphia did a fantastic job as well. And I also thought that uh, the play or the, the draft, the Chiefs, uh, those three teams in particular, among several others, all did a really good job. DCX Viper, who are your top prospects for the 2023 NFL Draft? I won't go too far in depth. We will eventually do a way too early 2023 class. Um, Jackson Smith in no order. Jackson Smith in, uh, in, in Jigba, the next great Ohio State wide receiver. Michael Mayer, tight end from Notre Dame. Uh, Clemson's got some good defensive ends. C.J. Stroud, Bryce Young, J Jalen Carter from Georgia, and the number one guy right now, that is Will Anderson, the edge rusher out of Alabama. He would have been the consensus number one pick this year had he been draft eligible. 